My name is Durgesh and I'm going to create complete playlist for the Python 3. And these are the topics what I'm going to be cover in this uh, playlist. So almost I have covered all the points which is related to the Python. And at last I'm going to cover the interview question also, which is generally asking in the interviews room. So if you want to learn the Python in the very simplest way, so please join my channel, subscribe and like my video. And let's start. So first, let me tell you something about the Python. Like what is the Python? When develop the Python? So let's start. Yeah. So if you are a new learner and you don't know any other programming language, then also you can learn this. You can watch this video. And even if you have learned already some pre some another programming language and you want to learn Python, then also you can watch because I'm not going to skip any single things. So either you know another programming language or don't know, it doesn't affect your uh, learning path. So, but it is a good if you know already some other programming language because in all programming language, most of the concepts same only only the things syntax is different. So if you have learned already, then okay. If not, then also okay. So while learning the Python, the first things come in the mind. What is Python? As I told, I'm going to cover all the topics. So let's bear with me because initially we have to see, we have to see some theoretical point. After that, we will start coding. So first point, what is the Python? This is generally interviewer can ask you like, uh, what is the Python? So at that time you have to answer it. Python is an interpreted object oriented high level dynamically, dynamically type programming language. I'm repeating again. Python is the interpreted object oriented high level dynamically type programming language. Uh, don't worry about the terminology, what we are using in this, like uh, interpreted, object oriented, high level, dynamically type programming language. Just keep in mind this definition. Why? Later on, I'm going to explain each and every word. Like what is the interpreted means? What is the object oriented, high level, dynamically type? I will break down entire definitions and I will explain the meaning of each and every word. So right now, keep in mind, what is the Python? So Python is the interpreted, object oriented, high level, dynamically type programming language. Then second point, when was the Python programming language created? So Python was created by the Gudo Van Rosam in 1989 and officially first released in 20 Feb 1991. And the name of the Python programming language come from the old BBC television comedy show, which is Monty Python's Flying Circus. So yeah, so the creator of the Python language is Gudo Van Rosam, Gudo Van Rosam, and officially the first release of the Python in February 1991. Then third question. What are the advantage and features? Because it's a very common question. Anybody can ask you why you are learning Python only. What is the advantage and features of the Python? So the very first thing, free and open source. So as we know, Python is the free. We no need to pay anything if we want to use the Python. So the first point, Python is a free and open source. Second thing, platform independent. What is the meaning of platform independent? You can use Python on various platforms, including Mac OS, Windows, and Linux. So it means we can run our Python program in different, different platform. It can be Mac, it can be Windows, it can be Linux. So it is a good thing because you no need to write same program again and again in different, different platform. You can write once your program, you can run the same program in different, different platform. So that is the second point, platform independent. Then third point is scripting and interpreted. So here see interpreted the word. 
the interpreted word I have mentioned in the definition uh, what is the Python in there so scripting and interpreted that is the third point and scripting and interpreted language do not require the compilation the process of converting the source code source code into a machine code it's called compilation so time being don't for put pressure on your mind what is a scripting what is a interpreted if you are a new to programming language so just see what just listen what i'm saying some basic things why because once you go at deep you will automatically get the clear idea what is the compilation what is the interpreted what is the meaning of scripting so right now keep in mind this theoretically part only will and we will see all the things one by one then fourth point object oriented and procedure oriented python support object oriented as well as procedure oriented concept and the last dynamically typed so these are the few features and you can say advantage of the python here for the dynamic type i have written one uh, definition like dynamic typing means that the type of variable is determined only during the runtime so as i told you don't put pressure on mind so what is these things because if you are new learner then don't uh, think too much then last is easy to code and easy to read See, Python is a high level programming language. High level programming language means it's a very, it's like a general English statement. So it is very easy to read the Python code and write the Python code. So the next question might be new learner can think, who are using the Python? So see, top companies that uses, that use Python is Netflix, Google, Facebook, Amazon, NASA, Quora, Instagram. There are many more companies, but I have listed down this, this only. So these are the very popular because of that only I have listed down here. So you can, so based on company name, you can see the popularity of the Python. So Python is a highly popular language nowadays in 2023, Python is a highly demanding language so the next question maybe you ask where we can use the python so these are the some domains where we can use the python web development we can go in the web development we can go in the data analytics data science automation ai and machine learning game development so these are the domains what i have written here so we can use the python in this different different domains so either if you want to go for the web development or data analytics data science automation ai machine learning game development so you can go with the python python is a very easy easy to learn see i believe if you are able to read the english language then you can learn the python language because python is very easy language it's similar to english language then we have a different different version of the python so python 1 2 3 right now python 3 is running and uh, this is the date or year when python version are releases so in this particular playlist i am going to cover python 3 and in python 3 i am going to cover 3.10.4 version so this is the latest version and i'm sure in future some other version will come but right now this is the latest version 10.3.4 so this is the basic things like you should know before learning any programming language like what is that programming language what are the advantage and features of learning that programming language and uh, which companies are using the that programming language where and where we can use that particular language and the version of the that language so this is the basic things like each and every people should know before learning any programming language thank you so much for watching my video please like and subscribe my channel bye